All right, my dears, I am going to show you how to go to Rogers Hub and check your grade. So first thing you want to do is, I already have the internet up, and this is my grade in the class right now. The 8840, okay. So you want to have your grade up and then just open a new tab. What you want to do is go to Google and just type in, you can even type in Rogers Hub because that's what I always do and I always mess it up. And then the first thing that pops up is the one you want to click, the one that says Roger Hub because that's the, that's the website. So you want to click this first one that says Roger Hub Final Grade Calculator. Click it. Um, and then you plug in your grade right now. It asks for your current grade. So my grade is at 88.40. And be very accurate. Like if you erase this, it gives you like examples. I don't know if you can see them, but it says 92.4. So put your actual grade like point whatever. So 88.40 is my grade right now. You can always double check. You get point forty, whatever. And then the second part is that you want at least a blink in the class. So for me, at eighty four is a B. So I would love to finish all my classes with A's and B's. So for this class, I'm gonna say because there's no way I'm gonna get an A. I mean, we could we can test it out with you. I'll test it out with you guys. But for this purpose, I'm gonna eighty four at least in the class. And then you go to your class again. That's why I said keep it open. And if you scroll down. At the bottom, it tells you what your last exam is worth. So this is worth 13.57% of my grade. So you go back to Roger Hub and you put 13.57 in there. Okay, everything filled out. And then you click this button that says determine what I need on the final. You will only need a score of at least a 55. I thought it was 56, but a 55.98 on your file to get 84. Have fun doing other things. It kind of has fun things, you know, it says fun things after. So I really don't need that much of a good grade if I want to keep it. And it's going to drop me four points. It sucks, but I'm still going to have a B. So now, example, if I want to get a 92 in the class, which is an A, determined, I would need to get 114 on the test. And so is that even possible to get? So it's like, it kind of gives you an idea of how much you need to study. So... And I even put 88 because I'm like, I have 88.40. If I want to keep my 88, I have to get 85. Who's going to study that much? 84, boom, 55. So I basically needed like a F on this test to keep my grade. So that's how you do it. And like I said, you go, see, so you could either type it in Roger Hub. Um, but I just like to go to Google, make, make it easier. I just type in Rogers Hub, which I think it should be called. But anyways. Have a Rogers Hub. You click the first one that says Final Grade Calculator. Plug in everything accurate, and then it tells you. And then there's other questions down here too. It's like I already took the final. What's my overall grade? My final class is a test. What do I need to get? Um, there are two parts to my final. My class has a point system. All these other questions. And you can do the grade stuff for that. So look, if you already took your final, you can do that. So yeah, and that's how you do Roger Hub. So I suggest you guys use this, especially if you're at the brink. I'm not at the brink, but if you don't feel like you want to study that much, you can use this and kind of give you an idea of how much you need to study.